Hello, it's Colette. Welcome to the weekly tarot card for the week commencing Monday, the 18th of July 2016. And it's a brilliant one for the year ahead. So, the year ahead. What am I like? The week ahead. Don't edit. It's in. So, no, it's not the year ahead. It's the week ahead. And um, it's a brilliant one. It's called The Star. And the star is one of the major arcana of the tarot that has a big punch, a big kind of boost behind it. And it's a very, very positive one. So what does it mean in general? Well, if you look at the star, what do we see? We look up at stars and we wish on stars. And how many songs have been made about looking at stars, counting stars? Stars are about hope. Stars are about potential. Stars are about our hopes and dreams, and that's what this card's about. It tells us to get focused, to get focused on our hopes and dreams, to get focused on your own things that you would need or want for yourself or your family. And it also tells you to get focused on the bigger picture. Um, you can use this card to be a wee bit more optimistic about maybe the world and what's going on. And even if it's not a great week in the world, we can still in some way try and bring out positivity because there's too much negativity out there and the one thing the star does not want is negativity this card is about positivity it's about going for your dreams and it's about having high hopes and maybe even high expectations so if you look at her in the Rorick deck just simply a, a beautiful young female um, with a blast of a star just above her head and that's really just the main visual she has got quite a determined gaze and that's really it in the card so for the week ahead in general what you've got to realize is it's a time to kind of pull yourself up from maybe being a wee bit gloomy a wee bit down but not just that energy of positivity it's about actually um sort of focusing on what you want focusing on your hopes and dreams and then focusing isn't enough you've got to help drive them forward as well so in general it's just a great card if you want to achieve something in the longer term or even in the shorter term if we look at it where career is concerned it just says go for it you know if you um want to change your career this is a time to focus on it and make plans to to go forth with it um it's a brilliant card if you're maybe waiting on a promotion that you've been wishing for or wanting or wanting a change of job um the star card will uh give normally good results you know if that come out in a deck uh, a little spread where someone is saying will i get that job and the outcome was the star card it would be yes of course so it's a really good career card if we look at it in health um again it's a positive card um it reminds us as well to look after our intellect and to look after our brain as such um so if you find you're getting a wee bit fuzzy duddy or you've got a bit of maybe fibro fog or you're generally feeling as though you're, you're a wee bit cloudy and foggy this card will allow you to kind of sort of become more alert brighter um and also if you sniff rosemary um the herb not a person um then that was laughing at my own joke there, but never mind. If you sniff rosemary, that really has been shown um, statistically to make you feel brighter. So I've got lots of rosemary outside. So um, if you're looking for what it will bring in health, if you're waiting for um, a test result, um, or you're waiting for something normally the answer will be good uh, but it does bring with it a degree of clarity of the brain um, relationships yeah the star card have you been waiting on a proposal well it's coming have you been waiting on that person uh, you know that you've maybe longed for it's uh, a week where your hopes and dreams could be fulfilled which is lovely Wealth, again, um, if you're focusing on wealth and you, you're wanting to make sure that the longer term it is beneficial, this is the time to really focus, drive that will forward and even put it up as an intent. Um, and that's the other thing about this card. The star card lets us know that it's important that we use laws of attraction this week because the star is one that says like attracts like. 
Um, if you are going forth with positivity, with joy, with determination, then the universe will back you up with that and allow you to go forward with that degree of optimism. So the star is always a great card if you want to put any intent or any magical processes into being because it gives you clarity and it gives you that sense of the universe supporting you. Uh, so if, you, if you're feeling uh, that you would like to do any magical intent or you want to focus on a new project and really focus on pushing it forward, um, this card with laws of attraction will be very, very good for you in the week ahead. Is there a negative? It's just a really good card, you know. I would be pushing to say, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. Let's just go with it. It's a positive, upbeat, um, clear, alert card. So let's just enjoy it. So have a good week ahead. Uh, enjoy maybe more clarity. And I'll see you next week for the next weekly tarot card. If you like this card and video, give me the thumbs up. And please subscribe for giveaways and more videos coming. Many blessings. Enjoy the star. Let's see if I can get this off now.